Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the ARE show. So you guys already know what's been going on for the past few weeks with the market correction and all these small cap momentum stocks have all been kind of tanking and it's just been really painful. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make three investments that you can still make money through these times no matter how bad it is. And if you guys want to see that, stay tuned and cue that intro. All right, so the first way that you can hedge against a market crash and still get money is through dividend stocks. And I talked more about this in detail, so I'll leave a link right up here if you guys want to see a longer and more detailed version of dividend stocks and why it's so underrated during these times. But nonetheless, I'm still going to be talking about why it's so important to have this in your portfolio. So there's a bunch of reasons why you want to keep a dividend stock in your portfolio. And the first reason is because it's not really that volatile. So if you remember back to the pandemic, that was probably the last time that these dividend stock companies even dipped. And most of them have recovered, if not all of them have recovered by now. And throughout all this time period of recovery, all these stocks have been paying out a dividend consistently throughout the pandemic and up until this date. And some of these companies have been doing it for 30, 40, even 50 years. So you know that no matter what, you'll still get back a certain percentage of your money and it'll come to you in the form of dividends. And it'll be there for you to reinvest it keep it or use it to pay off bills so that's one way that you can no matter what get some stream of income during a market correction so you're not just sitting there and holding all your stocks and waiting for it to recover you'll still be able to get some passive income on the side another thing to think about is these companies like apple and microsoft and even visa are really high growing companies and yeah they're not like a tesla or anything like that but they have been growing pretty heavily and consistently over the past few years and on top of that, these companies, no matter the situation, they probably won't ever cut their dividends and you can rely on them for this passive stream of income. And yeah, as they're not paying out that much dividends compared to some of the other companies like AT&T, one thing that you can do is you can add these ETFs like SPHD, VYM, DGRW, and all basically these ETFs do is they have high dividends and low volatility. So if you think about it, they're probably collecting companies like AT&T and Verizon where the price doesn't really move up or down that much, but they're going to be paying you out a four to five, sometimes even 6% dividends, which is huge. And you can add this to your portfolio as kind of like a cornerstone. So that way, if your stock portfolio is going down or some correction were to happen, this ETF, as you can see, has been performing pretty well over the past six months. If we take it year to date, it's been doing great as well. And you can see it's not really going up too much, but that 5% dividend yield is always going to be there. So you can add this to kind of hedge against a market crash and still receive dividends on the side. So that way your portfolio is not sitting there and it's actually sitting there now and accruing income on the side. And just for example, I've been investing in this ETF right over here, SPHD, and they pay a dividend every single month. And that dividend is about 14 to 15 cents. It just really depends on the month. And I know that's not a lot, but you got to remember you're only investing about $43. And at the end of the year, it comes out to almost $2. And with that $2, you can invest it back into this ETF and get even more money the next time you get a payout. Or you can just hold it and add it to a penny stock or do whatever you want with it. With that being said, like at the end of the day, you're still making money, even if it's very small. And if you have, let's just say, 100 shares, now you're not just making a dollar every month or $2 every month. Now you're making way more than that. So it's just kind of a benefit of having a type of ETF like this in your portfolio. So that's the first way is by owning dividend stocks. Second way is kind of similar, but it's also kind of unique. So let's get right into that. All right. So the second way that you can invest your money is through cryptos or cryptocurrency. And we all know this is a newer concept compared to the stock market. But nonetheless, it's been a pretty profitable way for people to make money over the past. And it's a lot more volatile than the stock market is in terms of like dividend stocks versus cryptocurrency. As you can see, like my portfolio went all the way down to 4400 And this is me not adding any money at all and it went to a peak of 5800 so as you can see it's been very volatile but as long as you're investing into like bitcoin or ethereum some of the bigger names you're pretty much set um it still is a little bit more risky than some of the other stocks or dividend stocks as you can say but nonetheless it's been a pretty good way to kind of diversify from the stock market and it doesn't really have too much of a correlation with the stock market so if the stock market is down your crypto portfolio could be up so that's just one way but that's not the only way you can make passive income through cryptocurrencies. So there's also something called staking. And I don't want to really get too much into detail about staking, especially because I haven't really tried too much of it out. 
but basically it's very similar to dividends where you just hold a coin and you get paid through rewards. So let's take a look. So you can see that I've got Tezos at almost $25. And with that $25, I've earned about 20 cents in Tezos rewards. So if I just click on this, you guys can see it's basically getting paid about 4.63% just by holding and staking this reward. So it's really cool. The way it works is very similar to dividends. So if you just want to own some of these coins, you can get paid out. And you can see my lifetime reward is about 23 cents, which isn't anything crazy. But all I have is $25 in Tezos and about $3, $2.5 in Elgo. So nonetheless this is a passive way to make some money and although it's not really a lot and not every single coin offers staking it is one other way that you can make additional income on the side no matter the state of the market so besides staking there's yet another way that you can make even more passive income through cryptocurrencies and that's through interest and this isn't something that i personally do but it is something that you can make some money through doing on the side um, so with uh, Coinbase, so this is Coinbase by the way, the link will be in the description if you guys want to download it. You can't really earn too much interest, it's about 0.15%. But like I said before, this isn't something I do, but from what I've heard, and you guys should always do your own research, BlockFi and Voyager offer higher interest rates. So I'm just going to pull up the Voyager app and their rates so you guys can take a look. For USDC, you can earn about 9%, which is insane. You do have to have a minimum monthly balance. And you can do the same thing with Bitcoin, Ethereum, and some of these other coins. You can even do it with Doge, which is pretty insane if you think about it. But nonetheless, this is some way to make some passive income. Another way that you can make some cash on the side while a market correction is happening is through covered calls. And for those of you guys that have been following my channel, you guys know that I have this 0 to 100k challenge. And I'll leave a link right up here if you guys want to check it out. Where basically I try to do some risky plays in order to make some money. And that has not been working out pretty well just because of the condition of the market. So I've been resorting to some covered calls. And I will eventually post a tutorial, a more in-depth tutorial than I already have. To kind of show you guys and cover, you feel me? Now all jokes aside, to kind of show you guys the ropes on how to do a covered call. Just because it is a little complicated and it is a lot more riskier than some of the other things that I teach on this channel. But nonetheless, it is a good tool that you can use to make some money while a market correction is happening. All right, so I'll show you guys how this works. So we're going to go into my option right over here. And you can see that I have INO at $12.50 call. So first things first, you have to own 100 shares in order to do a covered call. So basically, and I'm just going to kind of summarize this as easy as possible. So if you really don't understand the whole concept, hopefully this will be able to help you. But think about it this way basically what a covered call is kind of like a deal so if i have 100 shares i have the ability to offer that 100 shares for a premium so let's break this down so i got 23 dollars in order to get this deal so my side of the deal is i offer up 100 shares of ino and if it reaches 12 dollars and 50 cents or above then the person i did the deal with has the ability or the opportunity to buy it. So let's just say I know goes to $15 before the expiry date, then this person can buy it for $12.50. So that's where I kind of lose out on the deal. But I mean, right now it's at $8.79, so it looks like I'm kind of chilling. But nonetheless, if it goes to $15, then this person can buy it for $12.50 and they get to get my 100 shares. So that's how their side of the deal works. But if it doesn't go to $12.50 by 4.30, then no matter what happens, I keep this premium of $23, but also I get back 100 of my share. So that's in essence how that works. It's pretty complicated if you're a new and beginning investor. And that's why I wouldn't recommend it because it is a lot more riskier. It requires a lot more capital. And I don't want you guys to get burned if you don't 100% understand it. So I will make a tutorial on how it works in the future. But if you're a new and beginning investor, I would recommend sticking with dividend stocks just because all you have to do is buy the stock and hold and receive your dividend. It's as simple as that. But I'm going to go into a little bit more detail here. So if you hit view option or view all options, I'll show you guys how to do it. And you can do this by weekly it depends on the stock. So you're going to sell your call. So it's the covered call part. And let's just say that this is going to happen on this Friday. So basically, if I think that the stock is not going to reach $13. I can get back two cents. And of course, the further out you go, the more you can collect in premium. So if I believe that the same stock is not going to go to, I don't know, $11.50, then I can get 25 cents in premium and just kind of keep it. So that's basically in essence how it works. And like I said before, it is a little bit more complicated and risky. And if you guys are looking for a simple way 
to make some passive income on the side 100 percent dividend stocks even cryptocurrency is just staking all you really got to do is hold it but if you're a lot more advanced and you like riskier things or you like call options and all the option stuff then you can totally make money on selling covered calls so those three were the different types of ways that you can invest your money and still make money through a market crash let me know you guys' favorite in the comments below. Of course, number one, we've got dividend stocks, and that's my personal favorite. We've also got the cryptocurrency market with staking and with interest, and then we've got covered calls. And one of my personal favorites that I didn't mention because I'm not in this yet, and this is something that I want to pursue and add to the channel in the future, is by owning real estate and renting out properties. And no matter the state of the stock market, you will get that rental income. So that's probably the best, but I mean... I'm not quite there yet and I can't really make a video and attest to it yet so hopefully in the future but that being said guys that's pretty much all I have for you guys for this video like I said before leave a comment and let me know your guys' favorite also like and subscribe if you like this content you found it valuable and let me know how you guys are doing with this market crash or if you guys are just vibing and chilling but with that being said I appreciate you guys for watching it means a lot and guys remember everybody eats